telecenter.org is uh, committed to um, engage uh, a large number of uh, telecenters from around the globe to become um, hosts of the summit. So the idea is basically transform uh, the telecenters uh, prior to the event and during the days of the event in Costa Rica into a place where young people can gather and discuss the main issues that the summit is uh, presenting to the young people uh, to talk about. Um, and during the days of the summit, uh, what we're going to try to do is to bring some of those comments, ideas, and suggestions from our community and to be known uh, by the attendees in Costa Rica. Um, but in addition to that, um, I think uh, the community and the foundation has been discussing what else we can do. I think that when we invite uh, people to discuss topics uh, in a telecenter, and in particularly when uh, these topics are connected and related to an, an event such as this, um, we create a lot of expectations and we are going to have uh, a lot of young people excited and interested in doing more. So we're trying to also find ways to make sure that whatever ideas are uh, coming up out of these discussions will have an opportunity to transform into activities or real projects. We, uh, the Telecenter community, is basically run uh, by um, millions of young people. Those uh, people in charge of uh, connecting their communities with the benefit of technology are for the most part young people. Um, and I think for us it's very important that the rest of the world learn about this. The, um, there is a huge uh, community out there, an uh, incredible number of people out there, young people, tr uh, really making the difference in the life of even more millions of uh, people who otherwise will not uh, have any opportunities to know and learn what technology can do for them. So we're very excited to be part of this, and I myself have been invited also to attend the Costa Rica Summit. In at least one or two days, I'm going to be the person connecting the community of Telecenter directly with the daily activities in Costa Rica. In terms of the demographic, we have invited a representative of each of the five regions where we work with. So we are expecting to have representation from Asia, Africa, uh, Europe, and, and certainly from Latin America. I think uh, the number one uh, topic of discussions for young people today is um, what are going to be their jobs? Uh, those, that is what is sort of a driven the search, the time that they spend on the telecenters. They're all looking for better opportunities, better training, and to find a new job, a better job, or to create a new job. It's a great deal of uh, a very rich uh, level of discussions that is uh, increasing this uh, concept and notion and understanding of entrepreneurship among the telecenter community. And young people, one, once again, are taking the lead on this. So they're not happy with the model that they see every day out there. They don't necessarily want to go and, and work in the traditional things that they see or their families um, have went through, they're really thinking in, um, in creating their own businesses and creating their own jobs. Lastly, I think um, just because it's a regular discussion and this is also something that we are doing with ITU, uh, we are going to bring a lot of new uh, ideas regarding to how we can improve the opportunities for women and young girls um, in the space of technology. I think they, we still have to see more of the real contributions. It's a, it's a good number of activities and projects out there. They're uh, promoting the, the participation of young girls and technology projects. Uh, but I think it's a lot of more work that needs to be done. And, and we, we would like to contribute with some suggestions of how we can bring the stakeholders to collaborate and create the right frameworks to allow young women to be excited about uh, working in technology. I think the, the, the key factor and one of the key messages that I want to bring to the participants in Costa Rica is that it's great that they have the opportunity to be there and be part of a, such an important global event, but the reality is that uh, a huge number of young people with the same level of talented, talent and aspirations and dreams 
do not have the same opportunities. And we want to make sure that they have the power to um, create new conditions that will allow in the future um, for those young people who are now disconnected, they do not own a cell phone, they do not have the opportunity to go to a telecenter or attending a, a, a library um, to have one in the future. And the only uh, people who can actually change uh, these um, very um, uneven situations is the new generations. But they need to be aware. And, and our mission as a telecenter community is to make sure that more young people, especially those who have the power to transform things, are aware that people like them in other places are, are missing all these opportunities. And, and to bring these technologies and create these opportunities is not, it's not that difficult. So we have the technology, the knowledge, uh, the resources. We just need to create the, the right frameworks. Um, and I think young people in the future can can contribute significantly to achieve that. I think ITU, in particular with the work that, that has been prepared for the summit, is doing a, a very uh, interesting thing in terms of creating a completely different um, strategy for, for the discussions and the event. And I think there is, is a very good opportunity that we will be able to uh, make sure that the energy of the young people will last longer and, and they were really going to go back to their countries with more clear guidelines of what they need to do and who are the others in the other side of the planet who are thinking like them and, and they uh, could become their partners or their supporters in, in initiative and activities. I think as long as we um, uh, entities behind uh, uh, the summit are able to very generously and openly uh, share uh, what we know, especially the things that we know don't work with the young generations, um, uh, the, the youngster will be able to, to do what they do best, which is come up with new ideas, fresh ideas, things that are going to change the equations of how uh, a lot of these issues that we try to solve um, are, are, are behaving. So I think they have the power today um, to really transform a lot of these uh, situations um, and make a lasting impact on, uh, on them. Because um, more than ever before, they have the opportunity to really be um, well connected uh, across the planet. Uh, and I think that one of, that's one of the key issues. Uh, and I was reviewing some data uh, not long ago about uh, in 1992, for example, for me to... Um, uh, coordinate a project with people in another country, it will roughly take me a month, you know, because we were using fax machines and the email was just uh, picking up. Um, but a lot of people don't even have an email account at that time. Um, and then roughly in one month, you have some kind of a plan. Today, uh, um, young people, people who are, um, you know, 18 to 25 today, um, they are able to put together initiatives online in a couple of hours, uh, which is a huge uh, jump in terms of the opportunities that what you can achieve uh, because you have these tools, because you have technology, because uh, now they can walk around, be anywhere, and, and be connected with their peers. Um, I'm really hoping that after the summit, we will see a lot of, of more creative and more efficient expressions of how we are going to use the power, the communication offered to the young generations to tap into important issues and, and more importantly, allow the young people to really uh, make those changes.